know, I was trying to find some cool way to start off this episode, like jumping on this Lima's head. And I've sat here for like a solid five minutes just trying to get this Mario to sit still and bounce. Oh, now you do it. Alright, well, let me start over. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we completed up Sea Slide Galaxy, and in this episode, we're gonna be bouncing on this Lima's head. Okay, not really. <laughs> in this episode, we're gonna be heading off to Toy Time Galaxy. And um, in this galaxy in particular is one of my favorites because it just looks absolutely incredible. Um, and um, this is also Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. We'll meet some new enemies here, and we're also gonna do power ups at some point here. Oh yeah, but that's uh, Mecha Bowser right there. If you couldn't tell in the background, this is basically a child's bedroom. Yes. And listen to this theme. Yeah, so there is nothing like the uh, New Super Mario's theme remix. Anyway, that's gonna give us some just Darvitz. Okay. I thought it was actually gonna give us a little more, but apparently not. Anyway, that guy right there, we've seen him before, but I never actually mentioned who he was. Uh, he is a mobile sentry beam. Pretty straightforward, and uh, yeah, once you spin into this, it will completely stop. And uh, those, guys, those guys down at the bottom should just be called Mecha Bowsers, if I believe, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I believe they're actually just called Mecha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called Mecha Bowser. That's their official name and whatnot. But, uh, like I said, not 100% sure about that. So, oh, that's cool. Uh, there's a little secret area down here. And once we do that, turn to this, and it'll give us a platform. Take this platform, and oh, head to the launch star here. We do that, and now we head over here to this area. And um, here's where we actually get this brand new item. And yeah, these guys, yeah, Mecha Bowsers. They're kind of like the uh, little guys from uh, the new Super Mario Bros. series. Not quite exactly, but you guys get the point. Anyway, here's a new power up. This is Spring Mario. A fan least favorite item. And. I understand completely why. It is just annoying to deal with and use and everything. Alright, so I actually want to take damage here in order to get rid of this thing. If it'll actually, yeah, it'll get rid of it. I actually want to ground pound you and get a coin, thanks. So there's actually something I want to show off over here. I believe so. If we hop up here without the spring mushroom, then head. Let's try that again. First of all, one up mushroom. Pretty cool. Just kind of out here, out of the way. But yeah, if you look right in there, and we can get a closer look by crouching in here, and then going into first person view. Yeah, there's a toy train in here. Uh, it's a pretty nice little touch there by Nintendo. It's just kind of a little random thing they did, I guess. It's kind of cool, I guess. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of its own little thing. And I'm sure we can... Cheese this, and indeed we can. Cool, so what's in here, actually? 
Oh. Um. I think we actually need the spring mushroom for this. Um, but this looks like a little sacred area that I haven't seen before. But yeah, there's a little toy train down there, which is uh, a nice little, just random little thing that Nintendo kind of put in. Alright, so come here, spring mushroom. And I actually want to go over there first before heading over there. Because once we head over there, that's actually the correct path. Yeah, but uh, pretty much any fan of the Mario series will tell you they absolutely hate this item. And it's absolutely abysmal. Um, and honestly, I completely agree. It's awful. Everyone hates it. And everyone can simply agree that it's awful and they don't like it. Alright, so what's actually at the top of this thing? Just, okay, just a question mark coin with star bits. Okay, I thought there was going to be a lot more interesting than that. Not going to lie. You can actually ground pound with this thing and it'll just make you bounce really super, super high. Okay, actually it won't make you bounce that high. I'm sure you could probably try to make it over there if you played your cards right. Or you could fall off. That's always an option, too, I guess. Alright, so, um, with that, I'm recording a lot of videos in this series, like, in a row. Let's be real. I don't think we need the mushroom to actually get up there. I think if we just... No, we need to do this. Almost. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. We're getting close. Wow, we didn't even need the spring mushroom. That's actually fantastic. I love everything about that. You don't even need the spring mushroom for this, which is incredible. Awesome. And yeah, that was 8-Bit Mario right there in the background. I didn't really mention that, but uh, yeah, it's there. This area, pretty simple, though I do think you actually need this this time. Lily just... Boom. Pretty simple. And yes, luckily Mario does not take that spring mushroom with him um, every time he goes to a different area. I don't know why this area has its own music, it's kind of funky. Uh, don't get hit by the tires, because that's like instant game over. So yeah, just be careful of that. And the whole point of this is to like actually dismantle the robot completely, uh, if I remember correctly. Actually, maybe the tires aren't instant game over, at least if you're not underneath them. I think if you get underneath them, it's pretty bad. Oh, wow. Where does this take me? Oh, it just takes me over here. Sweet. Alright, well, let's head up here then. And uh, let's actually take these off, or attempt to, I guess. And uh, I don't think there's any hidden things that I know of in this area, necessarily. At least from what I can remember, I don't think there's anything that's, like, kind of out of the way. Now, once we do that, we can hop in these holes and duck under this fire, but also head in here, take this on. And hopefully the gravity switch is automatic, so you don't have to worry about falling or anything. Then, take the pipe over to the arm, kind of. Oh, the gravity does switch on the arm. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, this bat just appeared out of nowhere. I don't know if you guys actually saw that, but the bat literally just appeared out of literally nowhere. I think if we do this, the arm actually falls off. Yeah, so you only have a limited amount of time to grab the launch star and there we go all right now we're here at the end and um, the whole point is literally just to get up to the top up there um, magic koopa you can get out of here along with that fiery thing over there that's got all these guys trapped um actually don't even think we need it well um okay maybe we kind of do Oop. okay um Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we do actually need that. Is there anything behind here then? No. Um, I do need to get back up there to that platform. So, All right, there's a spring mushroom on this side. Actually, that may be a good idea. No, because it's just going to get us even lower. Jeez, that was actually really close. I wonder if we could try that a couple more times. And try to land on the edge. Just just barely missed it. 
All right, let's try that again, but let's try to go more of like an angle like this. Can we make that? Oh, we're actually so close to that, it's not even funny. Nope, Mario, please. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna do this until we get this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna keep trying. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna cut back until we almost have it. Or fell like that. Or I give up. One of the one of the three. Um, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, you know what? I gave up. I gave up. I quit. Stop trying. Instead, we're just gonna we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. We're just gonna do it the way it's intended. Even though there, you can totally do it without. Or fail miserably. Alright, let's go back here and we'll just grab this one then. Yeah, I gave up. I, I, I swear there's got to be a way you can do that and it work, but I can't seem to figure it out. Um, I'm just not getting the right angle or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, now we're up here. Boy, this... We don't even need that guy. We can just hop on his head. Or not. No, uh, actually, it disables him if you do that. Can you not wall jump off this? Probably not. Um, so let's actually head up here. Then backflip up to this. Well, you can slide off that, so I don't know why you couldn't do that earlier. Um, but yeah, you grab into that, and it blows up this robot's head and whatnot completely. And yep, pretty much the whole thing just implodes right there. But uh, yeah, Mario doesn't take a scratch. Instead, all these guys are saved, and they're smoking, but, you know, they're congratulating Mario. You did it. I guess all you won. Thanks. I thought we were done for. Yeah, um, and then, what did you say again? Good job, yeah. They're all congratulating Mario for burning them and covering them in smoke. <laughs> but anyway, that's the first level down. That actually took us quite a while. We may only get two levels done here in one episode, which is... I mean, it's not bad, but um, it's certainly not great, really, either. But, with that being said, uh, let's head back in and at least try to get one more level done before we end off this episode. Um, I don't know what the next level actually is. I, I think I know what it might be, but I'm not 100% sure. No, this is just Mario meets Mario. Um... I know this level, but I also don't really know this level. But I do, yeah, know Mario is meeting Mario. I'm just gonna avoid that train completely and just literally just. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty easy to avoid all those. And yeah, now we're already over to this little area here. And yeah, these little mobile sentry beams are everywhere here for whatever reason. And I'd like for you not to do that, actually. Thanks, bud. Okay, now let's just get out of here. Alright, now we long jump. We get out of here. I think the area that I'm thinking of is actually in the next level. So, of course, those little guys right there are kind of like amps, but they don't have faces, of course. But you guys get the point. Destroy the Mecha Bowser there. We'll grab the coin, refill our health. Alright, the other ones should be like up here. I think one is up here at the top of the screw. I think if we screw in this screw, it screws in the giant screw, doesn't it? Yeah, and that gives us another star chip. And hold up. Hello, friend. I didn't see you up there. Um, we can actually do two levels. Hey, you, yeah, you got any tasty star bits? Give me a bunch of star bits, star bits. I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. 50. Luckily, we have 50. Just barely, though. And with that, I believe that's gonna give us a bonus star here in this level. I'm glad we're taking care of this now, and I actually believe this is. Okay, this was what I was thinking of. Yeah, this is the level I was thinking of, but I didn't remember that it was actually part of a pink star. Uh, yeah, those guys are enemies, of course, we've seen before. And, uh, yeah, if you get on the wrong side, they'll crush you and whatnot. 
Uh, Mario can't stay inside them, so it's not that big of a deal. If they're like there, no need to worry. And uh, what's this guy have to say? Going over there? Maybe I could jump. Or maybe you could jump. You could go over there with a jump, right? I'm pretty sure I could, but uh. Okay, so these guys are only facing up when on the bottom. And uh, we need to hit all these little question mark blocks, don't we? Uh, okay, more star bits. Cool. Alright, uh, don't worry. Yeah, you want to be careful, though, because if you get hit by that lip, uh, you're in trouble. Long jump should, yeah, get us over there just fine. And, um, I think we actually may have missed something on that last area over there. Uh, but yeah, luckily this this platform doesn't have any of those, um, I've read the name of them, but I did mention them at one point. That was actually like around episode 12, I want to say, when we talked about the, um, when I said something about in the last episode, I mentioned like an enemy, but I didn't exactly point them out or anything. Um, and that was those guys, those little guys that are spinning around and whatnot. And uh, we're about to die, so um, we should probably be a little careful. I want that coin. Yeah, I love how I grab the coin and immediately fail and then lose the coin. Absolutely fantastic. Perfect gameplay, guys. Perfect gameplay. Right, let's pull her back here. We're missing one of these, and I believe it may be that one over there. Alright, get out of that guy's way. Yeah, we got those, but we're missing that one. Alright, now I got that. Um, I guess we could long jump over there. Or not. Okay. Um, let's say we're going back around then. Alright, now that we've done that, then we can long jump over here. There we go. Alright, so now this is where we have to be careful. Right, so you hop. And then I'll grab these two. Wait for you to go back. And then grab that last one. And I believe that should be all of them. Indeed it is. And the stars all the way down there. Um... That's not far away. Yeah, you have to be careful of those guys. They'll still get you if you're not careful. Luckily, these guys here aren't too bad, and they're not really in the way or whatnot. And uh, with that, that's going to do it for this star, this bonus star. And normally, I wouldn't do a bonus star without doing the regular star in the same episode. But we're kind of running out of time here on this episode here, guys. So, um, if you guys like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated as it helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.